I'm Chris Jussel saying so long from all of us on Antiques Roadshow. Welcome to the Channel 47 studios. This is the last night of our year-end fiscal membership drive. We're calling this a necessary drive. Got to the year-end of our uh, fiscal uh, uh, year and uh, had to do some thinking about what programs that we'll be able to purchase next year. And uh, that's why we're here today in the Channel 47 studios. I'm Hope Ware. Along with Dan Phillips. Hi, Hope. How are I, you? I just explained all her purpose. You can I talk know. Now. <laughs> I think this is great. You know, one of the things we wanted to point out is that without the proper funding, and that comes from you, we have to go back to equipment like this. <laughs> and we'll tell it's you more monitor. about this equipment. But this monitor started uh, its life back in about 1948. This television was around when there was only a couple dozen television stations. The way they stayed on the air back then was through support, support by their it's, advertisers. Uh, we kind of put time and effort into things that are important to us, and to Dan and I, really, Channel 47 and public television is important. I think we show up on almost every membership drive. We said, you know, this is like, it's kind of like a thing between old friends. The Channel That's 47 right. membership drives come. We all get together. We get to chat and get to renew our acquaintances and everything. And you know what? Um, I think for those of you that are at home viewing, antiques is kind of like that. Don't you find that there's a core of people that are there's like, a, you meet somebody you and it's bet. like, oh, wow, this is great. There's a real passion to collecting, yeah, and I know people is. that watch Antiques Roadshow are really passionate about it. It's it's a little bit of voyeurism, discovery, mm. what people have in their closets and in their basements and their attics and in their past. And and it's not always just the, the monetary value, it's but not, it's the, yeah. the history behind it and, and the stories behind it. And that that's what really makes it fun. Collecting is a passion that people take deep within them. And I know you guys collect. Oh, yes, we do. This is part of our television history that we have at home, uh, along with several other of its friends and acquaintances. That's <laughs> right. Make their home and we're home. back here in the studios of Channel 47 WTVP. With me tonight, uh, now Hope is seen on the air all the time. Her husband, though, isn't always seen on the air. Uh, you've been on air before. Uh, probably by accident, uh, you used to spend a lot of years here working at Channel 47 That's on right. the technical side of it. Mm -hmm. Does that give you some of your love for your, uh, your collection here? Well, I had uh, an interest in television collecting that goes back to high school, actually. So I think my interest at working at Channel 47 maybe came out of that. Sure. Well, I'm not mm -hmm. sure if I first met Hope and, Hope and Larry where at the Illinois Antique Center down where I hang out or if it was on Channel 47. I remember you from both places. We but, kept uh, showing up at the same I places. Know, I know, <laughs> at the same time. Again, it's probably your passion for uh, this kind of uh, business, so to speak, that, that uh, you really got into. Tell me about this set a little bit. Well, this, as you said, is a 1948 uh, Electromatic. Uh, it was made by the Electromatic Corporation. Uh, I don't have any information about the company that manufactured the set. It is practically a one-of-a-kind television. I have sent an email picture of it to a gentleman in New Jersey that does nothing but deal in antique televisions. And he said, I've never seen one like it. And so I know that uh, there probably were just a few hundred of these made by, yeah. that, uh, by that company. And uh, it has a 10-inch picture tube. It does work. It's on right now, but you really can't see it too good in the blazing television right. lights. But uh, uh, it has uh, VHF channels, channels 2 through 13. Uh, before 1952, that's all there was. In 1952, then our UHF channels came out, and then that's where you get, of course, uh, Channel 47. That's right, or 27, <laughs> as I call or it. Or 27, yeah, that's yes. Right. Uh, but in, in 1948, uh, just to give you a, a, a little synopsis of what the year in television was like when this TV was out, there were 977,000 televisions sold that year. There were 30 stations on the air in only 15 states. There was no coaxial cable uh, yet going even as far as the Mississippi River, let alone across the United States like we're used to now. Of course, That's we're right. used to satellite uh, today. Uh, programming that would have been on in 48 would have been like uh, the Texas Star Theater with Milton Berle, Mr. Television. That was the most watched television program of that year. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie was on. Howdy Doody. Oh, good old Howdy. Uh, Toast of the Town, that was the show uh, that Ed Sel Sullivan hosted before he had the Ed Sullivan show mm -hmm. and so on. So uh, there. Uh, yeah, the most of, the, most of the TV shows were live, too, back then. Yeah, not a lot on tape, a lot of uh, things happening as they developed. Mm -hmm. And this, to, to imagine that this set has lasted 50 years and still in operating condition, really, really a, a tribute to 
your collecting ability and, and the people before you. Yes, and I might say it came from the Illinois Antique Mall. Well, you didn't have to say that, <laughs> but thank you. Folks, give us a call right now. Help us out. WTVP, your public television station. Call in now with your pledge of support to Channel 47. We remind you, we're going to go back to the Antiques Roadshow in just a couple of minutes. Uh, but we do want to take a minute to remind everybody once again why we're in the studio this evening. And that is the uh, year-end fiscal membership drive. That's right. And you know, what's been neat about this um, was we were told that there are a lot of new members that have been... Uh, yeah, that's really encouraging. Yeah.